Uh, for this video, I'm going to be running through a, uh, a number of uh, alkene reactions. Um, just, I've got a few of them listed here. And uh, we're going to see what products it's going to form. We're just going to explore what happens. Um, so we'll be dealing with this molecule right here, which is 2-methyl, uh, 1-pentene. Um, we'll start off with something easy. We'll say, uh, you know, this reacts in HBr. Well, we're not really going to go through the, uh, the mechanism too much here, um, but for this one I'll kind of explain what happens. Uh, you have got a, um, a pi bond here, which is uh, nucleophilic. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have the more electrophilic um, atom uh, add on to this, and it's going to break the two apart. And then you will have your more nucleophilic, which will then be your bromine um, add on afterwards. So for this one, uh, you know what will happen is HBr, you'll actually have this bond come up here like this. And then what you'll see is this right here. I'll make this a little bigger. This is a plus because what we formed here is a carbocation intermediate. Uh, and since carbocations are most stable on the most substituted uh, carbon, uh, you will always see um, this carbocation here for this reaction. Uh, this is what's called McCarnikov's rule, um, and it says that um, when a hydrogen bonds to an alkene, you will see uh, that the hydrogen bonds to the carbon that already has the most uh, how, er, hydrogens. Um, I had one chem professor say it this way, uh, the one that gots, gets. So this one has gots, lots of hydrogens, so it gets the other hydrogen. Um, the extended McCarnikov's rule is uh, the one I just said, that the most electrophilic, um, the most electrophilic atom will bond to the least substituted carbon. So here, our hydrogen is the most electrophilic, so that's why I bonded there. And then we reserved our, our nucleophilic uh, atom for the next carbocation. So then here, this is just going to come in here and just bond to this. And what you'll see is that our product for this is that right there. Now we'll, uh, we'll bond this the same alkene with, uh, let's, let's grab another one here. Alright, let's try uh, with H2, platinum in a, an ethanol. So, we've got, uh, we've got this right here. Uh, I know that H2 and platinum are going to form the uh, halogenation. Is that right? May not be the right term. Hydrogenation. Let's try that. Um, yeah, that's right. The hydrogenation of this molecule right here. Um, so what happens is, uh, once again, the mechanism for this is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's platinum catalyzed. So um, what actually it looks like is that you have um, the C coming down here to this platinum, and you've got platinum readily dissolves hydrogen, and then uh, this one hydrogen, you know, kind of takes this bond here, and then what happens is this kind of plucks off here and you pick up an extra hydrogen, you know, but you've got this positive carbocation and you've got this other one and this kind of comes into there. So it's a really sloppy picture. Um, 
basically just to say you don't you don't need to worry about the mechanism too much with this. Um, just know that it's a sin addition, which means that they both come on on the same side. Um, so you can imagine if we if you uh, will allow me take this and just imagine this as a flat plane with the double bond right here. So the two hydrogens are either going to form right here or right here. You will never see, uh, let's see, I, yeah, you will never see this. That just that, that does not occur. So stereochemistry here is very important. And if your professor asks you a question on this, that's mostly likely what it's going to be over is the uh, is the stereochemistry on this. Um, it's important to note that what you'll see is a racemic mixture. Um, let's see. This will be. Um, you know, it's one, some methyl. Actually, for this one, uh, I just noticed this. You're not going to see um, any stereochemistry um, because what we've done here is we've formed two methyl groups. So on this stereochemistry right here, um, we, do, I mean, on this stereo center rather, there's there's no stereochemistry because we've got um, two of the same groups right there. So that's. That's what it looks like um, for that one. If if you prefer, um, a lot simpler way to write that would have just been one, two, three, four. Would have definitely just been like that because that's what you have. You don't necessarily have to indicate where the hydrogens go in that one. Now, if your professor asks you a question like this, where he's got deuterium and platinum, then you're definitely going to have to show where it goes. Um, and in that case, it was what what I originally had um, with just. So let's draw that. That one, two, three, four, five. Where you know, then we've got this deuterium, and then this D bonded to this. Um, but since we have the deuterium bonded, we are going to see stereochemistry um, because you no longer have two methyl groups. You've got a methyl with a deuterium. Um, so you're going to form a racemic mixture of this. I know I'm kind of going quickly. I just kind of want to go through some of these. And if you guys have any questions, you can, uh, you know, go ahead and send them to me, and I'll I'll try to get through those. All right. So now let's uh, let's look at let's look at BH3 with. Um, THF as the first step, and then we'll look at uh, H2O2 peroxide. Okay, for this one, um, if you remember to be talking about uh, Makarnikov's rule, uh, what we're going to observe here in this one is an anti Makarnikov. What is going to happen is our, uh, our boron actually going to bond right here and then um, in a concerted effort or reaction um, I mean this is this is why it forms uh, because these, these bond at the same time and the hydrogen goes towards the less bulky side so then once you have this bond removed and this bond formed that's what you have uh, and that is anti Makarnikov. Makarnikov, rather. Uh, but then you've got this move in right here. And what this does is this uh, actually just kicks off that boron. And you're, you're left with the, uh, the hydration um, of that molecule. Now, uh, interesting to point out that this was actually found by uh, Herbert C. Brown of Purdue University. Go Boilers!